All right, so first let's do the rigid. Battery's full, speed three, go. Wow. Yep, like I said, this is a tough piece of wood. It's a very tough piece of wood. All right, let's see if the DeWalt could take it out. Nope. All right, let's see if the Milwaukee could take it out. Nope. All right, we have to use something else. Look at that smoke coming out of there and some sizzling. All right, yeah, we can't use this log. All right, guys, so because of the test on that one log, we are actually just gonna do a six inch lag. When it comes to batteries, we do not have the same type of battery going all the way around. For a majority of these tools, I do have 21700 cell batteries, but I don't have the same battery all the way around. All right, Ridge's first six amp hour battery. Time. Let's take it out. Bosch is next, 6.3 amp hour battery. I think that's time. Let's take it out. This is variable trigger only. Time. Love that freak. Makita is next. It's on speed four. Time. I right, take it out. Hilti is next. Eight amp hour battery. Sorry, the Makita was five amp hour battery. And that's time. Let's take it out. Next we're using the uh, Nexus Cobalt, we're using a four amp hour uh, ultimate output battery. Time. Right, let's take it out. All right, next is Craftsman. We're using a four amp hour battery. Time. Right, let's take it out. All right, next is Ryobi. Time. Let's take it out. This Ryobi is a powerful impact driver. It really is. Time. All right, next it's Flex. Eight amp hour battery.
Wow, that was quick. Take it out. Snap. All right, next let's do the DeWalt. The new DeWalt Atomic Compact Impact Driver. Time. Let's take it out. All right, next, let's do the Milwaukee using a six amp hour high output battery. Time. Let's take it out. Snap. And for the last one, I've been saving it, is my Milwaukee Frankenstein. Let's see on how well this does. Oh, a little bit more, sorry. Time. All right, let's take it out. Snap. And you see, that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, because of, like I said in the beginning of the video, because of the other log, I wasn't able to use it, and I can't really do 10-inch lags. With this log, I can only do 6-inch because they would just go through the bottom. And so, yeah, but those are the results. As, as you can see, all the brands are capable of doing 6-inch lags, and that's a huge deal because this takes a lot of power. Like, this is, this is no small task. This is a very hard task to do. And so, yeah, all of them were able to do it. And uh, yes, yeah, so like I said in the beginning of the video as well, I don't have every single battery per brand. I could only do, I can only use the batteries that I have for it. More videos are coming like this, you guys. I enjoy doing these one tasks per all brands. The next time we do this, we are gonna do 10 inch lags on the wood because I gotta go find a wood that would be able to do this. Because uh, the wood that I did get, it's too, it's too intense. And that wood that I have is way too dense. That's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.